In the 1870s, the colonial expansion of the British Empire in the Nile Valley increased. The British decided to get complete control over Sudan. However, the deeply religious people of that country did not want to obey foreign laws. The unceremonious intervention of British officials led to people's discontent. Its spokesman was the theologian Muhammad Ahmad, who proclaimed himself the Mahdi, the Messiah. He began to gather an army against the invaders. By 1884, most of the Sudanese cities were in the hands of the Mahdists. Great Britain decided to intervene directly, but the troops of Ahmad gave the invaders a drubbing. In 1885, the rebels took the capital Khartoum. The defeat of Britain was total. Only by the very end of the 19th century, after the death of Ahmad, the British were able to regain their control of Sudan. Unable to defeat the living Mahdi, the British took revenge on the dead one. His remains were drawn out of the mausoleum and thrown away into the Nile. Ahmad's head was brought to England as a trophy. However, the victory of the Mahdist revolt became the first successful action of the peoples of Africa against the colonial oppression and remained a dark stain on the reputation of the British Empire.